Hello and welcome back to our hard mode snowrunner adventure. We are in Drummond Island still. We were about to head off and check out some spilled containers from a ship. So we'll head out and do that. Uh, we were going there because there's also a lookout tower. So we'll hit that. Once we've done those, we then need to head out to the west of Drummond. There's another upgrade to pick up and another lookout tower to hit. And also, we want to try and make our way to the port because at the port there is a repair restock point. So we should be able to repair our vehicle if we need to or just buy the, the restockable points and pop in and do that that's what I'm hoping because we've used all our repair points up and you know, we've got a little bit of damage on the truck mainly to suspension uh, it'd be nice to get that fixed we want a, a, a fine work and landy thank you very much But I hope you're all well. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. I'm enjoying the extra challenge that hard mode is bringing me. It is going to be a slow process. Whoa. We've not even got started on any real deliveries, have we? I think I might... Before we get into... Ooh... See, this is, the, this is the tough bit. I've, I've got to try and plan this out. In my head, anyway. Anyone that knows me on the channel will know that we do not make big plans <laughs> and stick to them. But in my head, I need to have some things sort of thought out and ready. But yeah, before we get to Island Lake, I might head back to Black River and see if we can... This is deep. Let's go low gear, get a little bit of extra traction. Yeah, uh, let's head back to Black River and work on bearing some of those roadblocks. Not necessarily deliveries, but clear some roadblocks. Then maybe bring ourselves through to the dam, to Missville Dam clear a few roadblocks off there and by then we'll have some money and some XP for doing that and then we can try and tackle Island Lake because Island Lake is not an easy place to be there's a lot of water a lot of mud I think still in its current condition with the upgrades that it already has. I think the landy would really struggle there. So I think it might be, just be a sensible idea to uh, go earn ourselves a bit of money, get some XP, unlock some of those unlockables for some of our bigger trucks, and then head back out to Island Lakes. Like I say, open up the roads, and then... then then we'll come here, we'll finish off, uh, we've got like one more big bridge to finish off here, we've done the small ones, and then even Island Lake has, uh, I think about four or five bridges to construct, and then again we'll start to work ourselves back through doing the jobs, doing the contracts, maybe trying out a few of the challenges. There's a challenge here we might do. If we get time today, we might do that. Today's episode, I think, is going to be a bit shorter. Uh, it goes without saying, the contents of those crates is of purely sentimental value. So if anyone asks, I'd appreciate if our little enterprise would go unmentioned. If you get my meaning, that's absolutely fine. So we don't actually have to go down there and pick anything up. We just go, although you're asked to pick something up, you don't pick anything up. You just have to go and look at it. But that's the... Uh, that's the shipment that they were on about. But yeah, we then, going back to what we were saying, 
uh, we then go back and work through those jobs through each each of the maps or each of the areas of Michigan. We'll do like the the on the on the map jobs, and then we'd work the actual Michigan contracts. I think that's how we'll do it. I think that will give us uh, a better variety going forwards. Because I know this has been obviously super heavy in the landy. And it sort of has to be just to get the scouting done. Nice and tight. There we go. Now I think this track goes around even further, but I don't recall there being anything up on the top of this hill. So I might just have a look on the map. See there, the track goes up there. We've nothing up there, so I can't recall for the life of me what that's for. We, we might stumble across it. And there'll be something like hit the antenna or or something along those lines. There often is. I think in in uh, Smithsville there's the antenna one that we've still got to do that I didn't even pick up, did I? So yeah, there might be something like that here. So anyway, we're going to make us our way west. Let's just get rid of the job, the showing, mud wrestling. Well, we're open. I'll show you where we're going to go. Come across, uh, around, and want to then come down, and then to here. Uh, there's a bridge that's got to be built there. We can't. Well, we yeah, we can't build that. We can't tow the the goods, but we should be able to get across the water here, up onto here, and then there'll be a track that'll bring us round to a upgrade. Oh, no, the tower, the lookout tower, that's here. Sorry. And then there should be the restock point there. So that's, that's sort of what we're looking to do. I know myself when I turn the map around. Because in my head I need the map facing as is. So when we jump in I know what I'm looking at. So let's get going. Let's do this. There is absolutely no rushing getting through that mud. They're really in. Just have to take it so, so carefully. I mean, I'm enjoying the uh, the added risk of hard mode. Like I say, in my in all my other play series, I just generally go hell for leather and have fun and don't really worry about it because we can either bring out a big truck and come and pick ourselves up or reset or recover not that I've ever been one for really recovering I've always preferred to come out and right myself if I tip a trailer recovery is normally in, in my other series and on my uh, Twitch stream series recovery has just been used as a tool of convenience to clear the map or to bring a truck back so that we're not just wasting a, an hour, as it were, just driving back somewhere that we can just jump to so we can fit an upgrade. That's why I said last time out, I might after this episode, if we get everything done here, that I want to get done, 
drive back to the dam and fit some mud tyres. I might then possibly then bring the landy back here or leave it at the gateway to Lake Island within Smith, Smithfield or Smith, yeah, Smithfield leave it there and then we'll come back the next episode to uh, to Black River to try and do some jobs I head off much further just quickly refuel that's the camel empty and we still have 400 in the roof rack so we're pretty good there so yeah down there oh no we can get to the lookout tower from that one can't we the bridge we need to build is further up there, so let's go hit the lookout tower first. Yeah, because if we hit the lookout tower, we can then make our way to the uh, the restock. And then we'll go and grab the last upgrade. And then maybe we'll try the challenge. Like I say, hopefully we've got the time. We should have loads of time, actually. We might... We might even take on the challenge of getting back to, uh, to the garage today as well. We'll see. Fuel is the thing, isn't it? We can stock up again before we leave. So there is that one last upgrade to collect on Smithsville. Be nice to have that. We may need it. We want to go left there, but there is a trailer down here. We'll just acknowledge that. This is a ramp trailer, so this could even be quite handy. Complete the jobbies that we need to do here, and then keep a hold of this trailer. Maybe take that around with us, because eventually we're going to need to move some vehicles about as well. That could be uh, could be handy. Rather than constantly having to drive somewhere, jump back, drive again, we can... Especially for the scout. So when we're ready to head into the lake, um, Island Lake, we could go in with a truck, with the uh, with the trailer and take take the landy as well. Maybe a thing. Also, there are some jobs where sometimes you need like three. I say jobs, contracts where you need. I'll look for the. Uh, Lookout tower. I 
Is that there? I have to check the map again. No, um, yeah, it is. Spin it around so it's sort of facing the direction I am. It's so confused. I think because we're just chatting away sometimes, enjoying driving along. I get where I am. Obviously, some of these maps are a lot smaller than others, so the scale, although your map builds the screen, the scale is a little bit different. There we are. So, the, um, we've got an Azov that is now available to purchase through leveling up. Does that mean we are level probably level four now or level five? Level four. I thought level four would get us some tires. Maybe it's level five. We're gonna want off-road or preferably mud tires for the Fleet Star. And when we get it. The, um, the White Western because they're going to have some work to do and it'd be nice to have them as efficiently set up as possible if we if we clear out the roads we could then get the uh, Pacific all the way back and use that to rescue all the trucks. That would make truck rescue easier. In the past I've always done truck rescue with the Fleet Star on these early ones but the Pacific obviously is a lot more powerful. It's a bit wider, a bit awkward so it would, it would be uh, a different challenge for me. You go in. So yeah, we could do that. Like I said at the very start, I want to try and do this my way. Like, not that I've watched a lot of people play Snow Runner, to say the least. Um, I've only ever watched two people. Um, one of them was when the game first sort of really came out. And then, more recently, I did say in the very first episode, I watched a guy, Wessel, Aussie guy. Um, now, my approach is very different to his. But I am very conscious. I don't want to find myself sort of copying anything that someone else has done. I want to, I want to do it my way. He is super efficient. Like, if if any of that rubbed off on, on me, that would have been nice. But clearly it hasn't. Wessel is super efficient. There are links in the description to him. He's uh, got a small channel, uh, but he's got some... An awesome, awesome series on Snow Runner. I don't think he used any mods or anything. He his playthrough is like completely vanilla. But it's obviously our first truck is a mod. Which then has meant the route in which I take has been completely different. Because I'm not out there searching for... Although we're getting them, picking them up. But the, my priority is that oh, we've got to upgrade the CK or we've got to upgrade the Scout. I'm not using them. So if we go this way... This will take us to the dock. The 
And the upgrade we want should be over there somewhere. So we'll quickly pop to the dock. We'll see if we can restock our repair parts. I'm not going to pay 1500 to repair the landing because it's not damaged that much. Over there, there it is. Ah, resupply parts, 200. Oh, do that again. There we are. Nice. And over here, I think there's a big old drill part, or no, it's the um, construction trailer. That's a big boy. So at some point, we've got to take that through this map <laughs> and through into Smithsville. That'll be fun. That's the uh, that's the load. Oh, I've got my wagon. That's the load I was saying a few episodes ago that we got stuck on a live stream with. I'm scared we got that stuck and I spent three hours delivering that live because we got stuck twice. And one time it took nearly two hours to get unstuck. And I was adamant that we weren't going to reset. Because that's not what we do. We don't reset, we don't recover, we get it out. If it's stuck, we get it out, we find a way. So uh, prepare yourselves for that in <laughs> in about 50 episodes time. <laughs> we're going to have to try and deliver that and get it stuck for three hours. Now we'll uh, we'll use different equipment. Uh, on stream we use a lot of modded stuff. We use some o overpowered stuff, but also some underpowered stuff just to make it entertaining. So we should be all right if we use the correct equipment, uh, machinery, vehicles that is provided on the map. We should be fine. That's when you start dipping into. Oh, let's try something new, uh, or let's let's try out a mod, or have a particular favourite vehicle that you want to use. That's maybe not best intended, and that's when issues can occur or arise. Yeah, let's go down there. You can see our upgrade flashing already. Control ourselves with low gear. We'll get our lights on, it's starting to get dark. So we have, uh, this is for the Pacific P-16, uh, Kenworth, Pacific P-12, P-512 PF, the Ank, the Ank, and the P-512F Mabel. Uh, a nice big engine for something. So we now need to find our way up, which I think is upstream.
There's a cargo there, we need to collect that later. I think we get up by this little boathouse. This is a request to build a bridge. Set that. That'll probably be the last bridge we do here. When we come back, we'll do all the other jobs and then we'll do that bridge. So I think that's probably going to be it for Drummond for us for a little while. Should we quickly pop back and fill up on petrol? Sell some gas. Might be worthwhile. Pacific. Just waiting for action, that is. I mean, we could try and use that to construct the other bridge that's here, but it's just so big. It's not. It's not that they can't do the job. I just think trying to then turn everything around because it's. You've got to get a couple of trailers down to the same spot. There'll just be no room to turn around. And then I don't want to get it stuck when we need it back in the other maps to do things with. don't have to stick to the tracks, I just do. We can go off road with this one. That's why we need those tyres. That's why we need the money for those tyres. Oh, we've run out of fuel. She's a guzzler. There we go. Lovely. I know we've got a beautiful night trip up to our garage. That's a fun one.
that little stretch feels a lot muddier and a lot boggier than I recall from my previous playthroughs. Maybe we've churned it up a little bit more. cargo crates to pick up later as well. See you in the dam. Here we are, in all its glory. So, we're going to try and find that upgrade. Take out some trees. So we have to go down the bottom here. And we have to take a right along at the water's edge. And then we come to a really swampy bit. We have to try and get through that. And then there's a small hill we have to try and climb. And it's up there. <laughs> I hate this hill. Because not only is this the site where we got our trailer stuck after getting a beast over there, but on my very first playthrough, I came here with an underpowered. Because I, I didn't know. I think it was probably the GMC to pick up the trailer over there which is for tools and I just could not get up the hill with it and because of the GMC <laughs> being as it is even without the trailer attached I couldn't get back up that hill I had to bring different trucks and stuff over to try and rescue it it was, it was a nightmare you would, you would think lesson learned but like I say I think got stuck there again not that long ago <laughs> Perhaps it's not up on a hill. I thought it was up on that hill. Oh no, it's showing me a job that we're not following. There we go, yeah. I'm sure it's up on that hill over there. What we're after. This is going to be super fun to get across. I 
can't even see where the track is that I'm after. Night drives. They're a beautiful thing. We'll have to see if we pan out a little bit. See a little bit more. Pretty sure the track. Yeah, it's over there. It comes around. We stuck on her. If we come back, we might be able to get the log to sink. We'll winch ourselves over it. That often works. Yeah, that log screwed us, hasn't it? That we're winching on the one we're stuck on. There we go. So here's our track. Yeah, our upgrade is just up there. Just, he says, he can't get up there yet. Nice easy climb this. <laughs> I think the track out is that one there. That's the way out. So that is the freeway. And that is for the Chevy CK. It's, this is a one that we won't use. So we could probably sell this no matter what, what truck or vehicle we put this to. Does it fit the... Um, I think we have completely our own, yeah. So we could jump to the Chevy and then sell that when we get there. Oh, I thought it was going to roll off then. And break on. Right. So we should be able to find our way through pretty easily onto the road and this will have cut out all the weaving around sort of the two big hills the mountains I guess that is what this should do if we go left here for larger vehicles it's not really a shortcut because of because of that steep hill uh, when you get out the other end and then the narrow track along that war's edge. So it's a much riskier route. You're better off taking the extra time and just going around them. There's a few tracks that we took as we went into uh, Drummond. There's a few tracks that you can climb between. You can do that with uh, big trucks with big loads, normally. But that that big long steep one with all the stones on that we came down, that's just such a nightmare. Oop. We spot damage. All good. What we will do, quickly check our fuel, because it runs out so quickly. Fill from the camel. 
Now there is a restock point round the back, not here, on the other side of the river, round the back of um, the warehouse. Now, can we risk... I think we can get across here. The bridge would be a convenience tool, but we should be able to get across. Rather than driving all the way around. I think. I think not. Yeah, we should be able to do this. We'll chuck out a winch. We'll pull ourselves over. But like I say, being overly confident is what causes issues. But we're there, we did it. Yeah, around the back of there, there is a uh, parts restock point. So now we're going to go up towards the farm. And then just as we reach the farm entrance, we're going to have to turn right... Because if we go up and right, there's a, a big landslide roadblock still, so I'm going to have to go right and go past the uh, lookout tower that we've already hit, and then try and oh, climb up the hill there to the gallery, or we could shoot right across and just go up the road. I think we'll get off going the way I want to go. farm on our left here, so we want the junction on our right. There should be a track down the side. Will hopefully be a little bit nicer for us. Cut through the trees. Should have avoided a lot of the mud for us. Although we did get stuck on an indestructible spruce tree. We're going to go rock crawling. the way we came through, so we should be alright going back, as long as we take it easy, don't get too confident, You've got to respect the terrain at all times, because it will have you at any given moment, there'll be a little dip that you didn't see, there'll be a, a massive puddle just sitting in some of this grass somewhere and you just sink into it. Mud runner used to be a killer for that. You'd go just off track thinking that was a, a much better route. Suddenly your truck would drop a foot. tell you what, over this week this Land Rover has done wonders. Absolutely brilliant. 
stuck a few upgrades on it. She's been a beast. I mean, look at her right now. Absolute beast. Even when we tried to force her up that sheer cliff face, she kept going. That was a day, wasn't it? Back to base, or base number two. There we are. So, what do we want to look at? We want to look at customizations. So, first up was tires. Can we get some bigger mud tires? That's what we're after down here. These bad boys. There was a lot of them. Yeah. Not too worried about the rims and such. We get some for this. Like it to be at least good on road. Oh, they're big though, aren't they? Doesn't matter if it's poor on road though, does it? We can where we're going with this. I mean, once we get out of Smithsville and take that into um. The, the lake. That's not going to matter. 43 inches though. That's, they're like the calm tyres, aren't they? Don't think we've got any chain unlocked, have we? That's if they're off the calm. Those are... Those are beasts. Might get them. It's most of our money. We can sell our other tyres. Yeah, I'm not worried about the road stuff. We can we can drive carefully on the road. We'll get rid of those hummers. There is a hummer to get later on, but that gives us three grand. We've not got a lot of money considering how long we've been going for. But we do have a beast of a truck now. Absolute beast. Look at that. There we go. So our next engine upgrade for it, which would be nice, would be the 3.5 litre V8. But that's, you know, four and a half grand. We're not there yet. But I am going to leave... Leave our Land Rover here, I think. And we shall... Jump to... Black River. And you might think, well, why didn't we do that earlier, sir? Oh, no. Should we drive back? Because then we can hit that lookout tower. Because nothing that we've got will hit that lookout tower. Let's see if we can get that done today. Let's go. And then... Oh, that's it. Yes, we've got plenty. If we've got plenty of time, we might be able to do the... The drainage as well. That's a, a scout job. We can trigger that once we get in there. We can do the drainage as we go round and hit that lookout tower. Man has a plan. So you can find on the road as long as you're going in a straight line. But that is... The baddest, the baddest Land Rover going. That is awesome. I mean, with this setup as well, we could probably not straight away get round to doing the uh, local entertainment as well. All right. I'll see you back in Black River.
So before we head out, let's quickly just check on the time. It is five, so we've got a couple of hours. We will set uh, drainage at the bottom here. Start tracking. So we've got to hit a pump here, pump here, and a pump up there. And if we have time, well, we should do on our way through. We'll try and hit that watchtower and that watchtower. Even if we only hit maybe two of the pumps, we'll see. If we want to chat too long, we're already wasting time. <laughs> We'll try and get started on these. See how good the new girl does. Now to try and have a quicker route in avoiding that roadblock. We're going to go around the back of the swamp. Normally I enter in from the front, so we'll again do something different. Is that this way? No, you have to go down there, don't you? Sorry, I might have to just double check that on the map. Yeah, I want to go down right around the back. Maybe I'm not going to get the pump sorted. We'll go as far as we can. Quick, quick, quick. There's a trailer down there, but we can't get that out. We, we, well, we possibly could pull it out, but we can't really tow it back for the completion. I think it needs to be attached on the back to, to count when you pull it in. Again, not 100% on that, but that's what I think. And I'm not wanting to try it whilst we're going hard, though. Perhaps I'll, I'll try that on a different save off screen. So we should have tracks somewhere on our right. I bet we've already used an hour of our day, haven't we? How long that night felt. super bouncy but still feels pretty sturdy with the big tyres soft suspension she's all good she's a borderline monster truck Land Rover so we want to try and head directly out there I think let's go for it Once we've got about four and a half grand spare, so the the, extra, the the engine isn't like a, a desperate need. That'll just help us elsewhere and in future. This I'm gonna try and keep this as like our main scout throughout the whole series. Maybe when we get to snowy places, we'll need something a little bit different. But burst pump. Let's just uh, check our time. an hour. So now here, we might be able to reach the the lookout tower the other side of the town. That'll be nice. And then tomorrow we'll start with the lookout tower and finishing off the pumps or drainage as it is. And then look to uh, clear out some of these roadblocks off here. And 
possibly start with our first delivery to the farm because all they want is uh, some tools or the, the curtain cider that we have. So this will take us pretty much to the drilling site. Should be able to handle this pretty well now without as much gear change needed. probably would still prefer the lower gear just so you can put the diff lock on it's a shame you can't get the diff lock always diff lock for the win that's what I say I thought we'd already been and collected this. Love that as well then. So this is for the fleet star. We'll need that. Ah, no, perhaps this... Yeah, I'd normally come and get that after picking off that watchtower in front of us, which we didn't get. Watchtowers, lookouts, what do you guys call them? I obviously flip between the two. Sometimes call them an outpost. That's where our... See, I haven't even been and triggered the GMC yet. There's me thinking we've got all this stuff. We're not even have done that yet. Oh, run out of fuel. Oh, we hadn't. It's a good job I didn't try and jump back, is it? Like we hadn't even found the vehicle I wanted to get to. The only thing that we had to have jumped back to was a broken fleet star. Tiger, easy. So we've still got one last outpost to hit on here, and then uh, we'll start doing the pumps. But that is going to be it for this episode. We'll stop here because we don't want time to keep running. Not the most productive, I don't think, on this one. We've you know we've, we've cleaned up uh, and got what we needed to out Drummond. We've got the last few little bits out of um, Smithfield Dam, and we're starting to just get the last few little bits here before we can start cracking on with some proper jobs and earn ourselves some pennies. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Thanks for the support on the series. Hope you're enjoying it, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.